Johnny Somali. We're back once again, just a couple days after me already making another video about this absolute wanker. To the point where he apologized to the South Korean people, which to me, I, I remember in that video as well, if you want to go back and watch it, literally I only posted a couple days ago, where he supposedly apologized for disrespecting um, the, a South Korean statue of peace. And even in that video, I said it was one of the worst apologies ever. And it's so obvious that that man is not sincere whatsoever in his apology and i also mentioned in that video because i didn't cover it previously but he's also being like facing potential jail time in south korea for drug use as well so this guy is already facing like a lot of backlash within the the country of south korea and th rightfully so because like i said in that video and like i'll probably say again this guy is an absolute wanker and he deserves every backlash every piece of hate and every bad thing to come to him and i don't say that lightly like i even said in my last video is that i usually don't really actually hate people that i don't know yeah i might crap on them or talk bad about them in videos but i truly don't hate them i really don't care but this is the one guy that i absolutely hate and now he is facing even more backlash and possibly even more jail time now with a new potential lawsuit johnny somali is now potentially facing more jail time for bragging about a deep fake ai korean girlfriend and at first on surface level you might be like oh donny this here seems a little bit stupid once you look into this deeper you realize just how how bad this actually is so the way that this story goes is that johnny somali was actually streaming with a korean irl streamer and like i just want to say right now that this girl she seems like a nice girl i don't know too much about her i haven't looked too much into her but like Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. You have to do your research on how much of a wanker this guy is. To be honest, as much as I do feel bad for her, the way that this situation has gone, at the same time, it's just like you're, you're streaming with this with this guy, Johnny Somali. Uh, of course, it's, it, it, there's no way that it's going to come out for you on the good end. It, it's not going to come out for you like great. It's not. She should not have streamed this guy in the first place. But she was on stream with him. And then not long after, I don't know the exact timeline of when this happened but he actually used a deep fake ai like to make a, a deep fake image of him and her kissing and was actually bragging about it on his stream i can't find the clip all i can find right now is the photo he apparently he was bragging on stream about how this is his new ai girlfriend using a deep fake of her to make it look like she was kissing him on stream which to me is just weird like that is 100% a, a, like weirdo type behavior. And after this like started to make its ways around like the internet and stuff, once she became aware of this, she actually went out of her way to go to the police station to actually make a police report about this. And she actually streamed it of her like going to the to said police it's now been a, it's a deleted stream but there is still like a clip of it which i'm probably playing over the screen now um while i've edited this video is that like yeah she actually went to the police to make a complaint about this and like to put charges on him at first but then she actually decided to not fully go ahead with this and press charges against him so if that's the case then you're probably wondering donnie if if she's not pressing charges against him why is this like a, a story then? Why, why are you saying that while well, he's potentially facing more jail time? Well, because she may not be continuing with these charges, but the Korean government, the Korean police are actually pursuing this for her. Like, instead of like her saying that she doesn't want to press charges, the police themselves are going to press charges because I didn't know this until I was looking into it, until I was reading the Dexterito article about this, but South Korea has actually started to criminalize watching or possess possessing sexually explicit deep fakes. That's right, deep fakes is now going to become a criminal offense in South Korea. And you know what? I think that that is an absolute Korean W, without a doubt. I think that deep fakes for like sexualized things when it comes to you know taking celebrities or people you know and deep faking them in sexual manners or you know what johnny somali has done to make him you know make it an ai girlfriend to the point where she's now kissing him and him's bragging about it on stream about how he has an ai girlfriend how it's her i 100 percent think that this is a w without a doubt that deep fakes should be illegal no doubt about it I, I think that if anyone who's doing this stuff should definitely face some kind of like fine or jail time and i am glad i am so glad that out of everyone for this to happen to 
It's this absolute dickhead. And you might be wondering exactly how long that he could be facing. Well, just for this case alone, it's seven years and 22,000 US dollars. And this is not including his previous charges of his drug use either, where he's banned from leaving South Korea and facing over 10 years for drug use. No, this is a separate case now. So not only is this absolute wanker facing up to 10 years in jail in South Korea for drug use, but now he's potentially facing another seven years for using a deep fake AI of this streamer. He's honestly just going like hard. He, he's like co trying to collect as many like court cases in South Korea, as much jail time as possible. And like I said in my previous video, and like I pro I've already said in this video, is that I can't stand this motherfucker. I can't. And you know what? Usually when it, like I said, usually when it comes to people that I make videos about, yeah, I'll call them out. I'll like talk bad about them. But honestly, truly, if I ever do, I, I really, like if I have to ask my honest opinion, like, yeah, I might not agree with their opinions or I might not agree with what they're saying or something like that. But a lot of the times I'm just like, you know what? I don't really care too much about them. You know, I don't hate them. No. But if there's someone that I do hate, it's this guy. And I will say it every time I make a video about him because it deserves to be repeated that I can't stand this motherfucker. And if there's someone who's going to actually face some hard jail time, have some big consequences against them on the internet, it's this motherfucker. Because you go ahead, you go into someone else's country and you disrespect them like this, you deserve every bad thing to come against you. But I would definitely like to hear what you guys have to think about all this down below. Are you as glad as I am? that more bad news about Johnny Somali just keeps coming out because I honestly am. It just, it, it really, it puts a smile on my face every single time I hear something bad happen to this guy. But that's going to be it for me. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Peace out.